hi again. As promised, here's another video for my friends. This video is a bit of a mismatch of political and scientific spiritual views because I don't choose to stay steadfast in any one area as I feel in many different ways that change has to be connected by all of these things. And the only way for resolution is in, in any political and social arena begins within our deeper spiritual minds when we reconnect them and become heart connected once more. We can spend a lifetime searching for who we are and you can take that lifetime of pain and do something that feels right with it. Getting involved in any political area is a worthwhile thing to do as long as you're doing it through the heart. There has been uh, some things that have been passed through Parliament more recently called the Gagging Order. And it was passed sneakily through and I myself campaigned tirelessly against it because our MPs that represent us were not fully informed of what it entailed. In fact, there were MPs passing information around that encouraged our MPs in our areas to vote for it. But the people rose up and uh, it did get passed through initially but ended up at the House of Lords where only some of it got passed as law. And even that half is another inch nearer to total control and the gagging of campaigners that are trying to maintain our freedoms. The courts are using our children right now to stop us from speaking up. They tell us if we tell our children when we see them that we love them and are doing everything to get them back home, they will stop us from seeing them. So why are we all sitting in our homes complaining about how we're struggling financially? Our governments have bailed out the banks and we are paying the price. It's something that we have let happen. There are parts of this country still under flood water, while other countries are given thousands in aid after tragedies. And I'm not saying that we should not give aid. What I'm saying is, there is no people power. We have no say. We give away our power to those we vote for, and we get gagged for the privileged. Whilst we can do, they, whilst they can do as they please, regardless, in our names. Loving anyway does not mean having to accept this kind of abuse and shutting up. Loving unconditionally does not mean that we must accept being treated as if we're too stupid to run our own lives. Our families are used in order to build a profile on us. But first, they make sure those families are estranged and will say negative things to our own families. The action-reaction-solution scenario is rife in the social services arena, as they will gain recognition for later fixing the problems. I believe that the courts are recognising this, but... The result is they're removing the children from the situation because social nurse services are not recognising that they are the problem. Social workers all follow like sheep. It's their jobs and they get paid vast amounts of money for it. They're taught how to work and if they don't, if they rebel against what they're taught to do, they lose their jobs. We are all under this controlling system. They break down families and cause the problems to gain the glory for making it better. Meanwhile, there are thousands of children being removed because of this abuse. The abuse being 
that those social workers are supposed to be supporting the families, but they're failing them. We have to deal with these issues for ourselves. We have to ensure our parents and the children's grandparents are aware of how this system works. And if they get drawn into believing that their own children have said bad things about them, and they react to those lies with abusive words against their own children, then they too are doomed to not seeing their grandchildren too for failing to support their own flesh and blood. There's one word that's being used right now by those who will no longer tolerate this happening. That word is the truthers. These are people who realise that the only way of healing can take place is in this messed up society where everything has become so tangled up with lies and manipulation is to make sure that we all tell the truth regardless of how embarrassing that truth may be. To accept where we have issues and problems and be open about them. To open our hearts and minds to others that have experienced things in their lives they would rather keep quiet. We all need to stop self-protecting and we all need to be real. No healing or support can ever come from us hiding the things we would prefer others didn't know about. And since that support is not coming from the se private sectors, we go, we go for help. And where we're instead being reported for our human issues, where these services are failing, we must support each other. The only way we can do that is by accepting that we all have issues and stop judging one another for them. We've all suffered loss, hurt and pain and many have suffered depression at being treated badly by friends, family and the failing services. It's time to stand up and stand by each other and know it's okay to be different, strange, diverse in our personal needs and lives. We're living in times where changes are happening and where the change and where we are the change. It takes courage to stand up and to be different and to accept our differences, to accept others for their, without judgment and not accept bullying from any sector for being different. And as I recently wrote my status, there appears to be some very bizarre expectations of spiritual people like me online to be people offline that have excessively moral lives without having normal emotions and feelings. Many people hold this unrealistic expectation that people like me live some blessed life with no life problems. There appears to be expectations that we will be happy and relentlessly endure everything with acceptance and will respond to unreasonable behaviour aimed towards us with open arms and open-hearted acceptance. There appears to be the expectations that we must be some inhuman type of being who, if we dare once swear or try to explain that we cannot accept being victimised, that we're, we're not being loving. Many spiritual people like me do not choose to be spiritual in many ways. Spiritual is just another label that defines and separates us from others and makes us different. Just as religion separates and causes boundaries in which people fight for and against. The reality is we're all different, even if we look similar. People who are labelled and label themselves spiritual are those who are born with a higher level of empathy, which makes us struggle to hurt in response because we feel that and know the pain others feel and that they too have their battles and are taking it out on others this is not reason to accept others taking advantage of those who are caring and loving we're all ultimately beautiful diverse wired differently you cannot teach an empathetic, empathetic person not to be empathetic, caring and loving by victimising them. It's not about endurance and sucking it up relentlessly whilst others put you in the position of victim. 
Sticking up for your own rights to have your life the way you want it is not unloving. Others' expectations of that for an empath can cause them ill health. So if the wish is for your empath friend to stand up for themselves, you can actually do them more harm and damage to cause them to withdraw completely. Live and let live and let others be free to be who they are. Then you may get the greatest returns from your kind, generous, empathetic, spiritual friends. I'm very interested in areas of family therapy and epigenetics. I love a quote that I've recently read within a study. Because many people carry a gene that contains habits and behaviour traits and that have been passed down through the generations, through, a, their, through the DNA. So we might say, okay, big deal, I eat junk food, smoke cigarettes, debilitate my body, it's my body, so what? Well, the problem is, what you do to your body and how you treat other people changes the biochemical expression of a gene that gets passed down and through the generations. What our grandparents did affects us. Many of us today are carrying information that we must change in us in order to not pass it down through generations, which is why when spiritualists and new ages say we are the change we want to see in the world, this is in fact not an airy-fairy fantasy. Think different is the advertising slogan for Apple. It's probably one of my favourite quotes um, of all time. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. But the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Another quote from Steve Jobs. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash the walls too much. Try to have a nice family life, have fun, save a little money. That's a very limited life. Life can be much broader since you discover one simple fact and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you and you can change it. You can influence it. You can build your own things that other people can use. The minute that you understand that you can poke life and actually something will, you know if you poke in, something will pop out the other side that can change it, you can mould it. That's maybe the most important thing, is to shake off this erroneous notion that life is there and you're just going to live it, versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark on it. I think that's very important and however you learn that, once you learn it, you'll want to change life and make it better. Because it's kind of messed up in a lot of ways. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. It's really all about letting go of fear and speaking your truth. Thank you for listening. Remember, acceptance of yourself is the greatest love of all. Always see love. Hugs from you to me.